father of road racing. Ted Corbett passed away recently, and anyone that ties on a pair of running shoes adds to the legacy of this great man. A pioneer, Ted championed running for exercise long before it became part of the fitness lifestyle as we know it today. Ted was the first president of New York Roadrunners when the organization was founded in 1958. For years before that, the road racing scene in the metro area was obscure at best. A handful of races, skinny guys, a few dozen serious runners, and courses that only the most dedicated could and would embrace. Among those earliest road racers was Ted Corbett. Ted's training regimens were legendary. Living in Riverdale, he would run to and from his work in downtown Manhattan. He raced well enough after his very first marathon to make the 1952 Olympic marathon team that went to Helsinki. For years, a handful of enthusiasts continued to push the sport. And by the late 1950s, the time was right to formally elevate the opportunities for running and racing in the New York metro area. As the star of the sport, locally and beyond, Ted Corbett was asked to be New York Roadrunners' first president. I was the first president of the New York Roadrunners Club, uh, which had a little different name, uh, Roadrunners Club New York Association. We set up a program in 1958, our first uh, races, putting on races, and they ranged from uh, short road races up through 30 miles. We had a 30 mile uh, race, uh, I believe in 1959. While it would take many decades for the road racing scene to evolve to what it is today, Ted Corbett and his comrades at New York Roadrunners set the stage for the fitness revolution. Ted favored the longer distances himself, and he held many ultra marathon records, including the 100 mile. One could say that the running boom as we know it today was launched in 1958 and certainly given a good leg up by Ted Corbett and the New York Roadrunners. However, to talk about Ted only in terms of running is to leave out what is likely the heart and soul of his legacy. A man better known for his actions than his words, in addition to being widely sought after for his physical therapy skills which kept him active until just a few months before his death from cancer, Ted was the inspiration for thousands, including those who were instrumental in the development of the sport of road racing. He led the way as a member of numerous AAU committees. Ted embraced the development of age group and women's competitions, always working within the established system. We're still interested in uh, following the rules and changing all the rules that needed changing to promote uh, long distance running and eventually this uh, played a role in women coming into running, too. Ted brought our sport legitimacy with his push for certification and standardization of course measurement. Here at the 1983 100-mile race in Chase Stadium, Ted supervises officials. To New York Roadrunner officials who followed, Ted passed on his respect for tradition and his passion for competition. This 100-miler consisted of 100 laps of a one-mile course around Chase Stadium. Over the decades, Ted saw the sport he loved and its elite athletes gain notoriety. And holding the finish line tape here in 1983, on the right, Ted Corbett. Ted and then New York Roadrunners president, Fred LeBeau, award the winning trophy. On the occasion of his 80th birthday celebration in 1999 at New York Roadrunners headquarters on Fred LeBeau Place in Manhattan, Ted Corbett is greeted by then President Alan Steinfeld and dozens of friends from the world of running in his ever expanding fan club. Artist Sarah Euster unveiled a painting of Ted at that 80th birthday celebration. At 80, Ted reiterated the original goals of New York Roadrunners. My original goals uh, with forming the Roadrunners Club was to get more races and a greater range of races. And that we achieved fairly quickly. The thousands who participate in New York Roadrunners events owe much to Ted Corbett for his commitment, his leadership, 
and his vision. Thank you, Ted Corbett, the first president of New York Roadrunners and the father of distance running in America.